What is going on, Roland Empire? Here, guys, to give you a video, and I just want to talk about a bit of let's talk about Solo, a Star Wars story. Yes, you know, of the recent Disney Star Wars movies, this one is one that I'm like, yes, I haven't really talked about that much. And at a certain time, really, there was things that were going on in my life, but now that I have the privilege to, you know, discuss more of this film, I was like, yeah. I wanted to talk about it and I really wanted to get my thoughts out. And this is some this is an interesting movie. You know, you what you know you know. Okay, it came out between The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. It has that divisiveness, the divisiveness with the fandom, not the movie itself. And then the way it made um you know its money back with the budget and all. So, you know, it's an interesting, interesting looking film for this movie. So it has gone through a lot of stuff and all. It has suffered these things, especially with Lord and Miller and Ron Howard, which I'm very curious to see what a Lord and Miller movie would have been. Definitely, those guys still prove it that they're really good filmmakers. And I wanted to see what scenes they kept for his their movies with this one with Ron Howard. So there's a lot of things that really went on with this, but I wanted to talk a bit about this movie. Just kind of like let this, you know, at this time, at this time where you know everything like how it is. I really do enjoy this movie and this movie is kind of underrated it's one of those and it really is in a way where like it's still a Star Wars movie and you know what Han Solo is so you know it's not like gonna be brushed off it at least will be acknowledged but as in like giving it a chance to see a movie it really is entertaining it's a good Star Wars movie like when I saw it originally, I said, this was good. I don't know if it was really needed. And it's something because, you know, this is the one where not a lot of people rushed out to the theater. For me, personally, I enjoy that, at least for my own privilege. But then seeing it again and kind of realizing, you know, for a while, I didn't even see it for a while. But then I was like, I'm going to see it a few more times. And then I was like, this is good. And then I was like, I'm like, this is entertaining again. And I was like, it works because it has... I was like, this movie has the hope. It definitely has the hope. Even the way where like certain lines are spent, like I have a good feeling about this. And that's kind of for me what connects definitely to Star Wars too, especially that kind of element of just enjoyment. And then seeing that sure like the it like certain things were like the lighting I wish could have been better and then maybe certain kind of characters could have been better played out. I like still the interesting missions they had. They weren't the best missions, but I like what the it was is a tro it was a trope of Star Wars one hundred and one about you get these people into this kind of mission, have them go through this kind of journey, and it's entertaining. It's not the best one, but it's entertaining. But the number one thing that really works from all this that adds to it, and that is really that really is how Star Wars should be viewed, or at least you know you liked the original, you like Luke, Kylo Ren, whoever you want from different eras, you like them for a certain way. And what what does this movie need? likable characters and i like the likable characters even from like obviously you know who han lando and chewie are but even beckett even kira to an extent to dryden but that's where like you know you wish the villains could have been better but it's understandable i like that it's driven at least from the main good guys and everything works around that so it's so it's entertaining and again like something like chewie i love that they give a lot of time to chewie in this that kind of background too you know, it's, it's, uh, it's warranted. It's, 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 it's acceptable at least to kind of know what he's going through. Definitely. It definitely shows that he has a lot, like he's been used, utilized more in this one in that kind of sense. And then seeing people like, I like Lando. Lando really is good. Like, like a lot of people, so he, um, Donald Glover does a good way of impersonating him, but bringing his own twist, like take. So it's enjoyable and, you know, you can buy it. You definitely could buy that this is the character and all. But then, like, the number one character that people are like, I oh, could have been better. Why didn't he act better? And I hate it at first. But then Cena, Cena, I think Alder Ehrenreich is a good Han Solo. He has the mannerisms. He really has the way where, like, he wasn't copying Harrison. He was making his character his own. But he had the nuances. And for me, that's what... Beat, beat it it was the nuances that's what won me over and i was like he is him in a sense you know there's certain days like why does he have the swagger and all this i'm like yeah i guess but certain way where he interacts with some people like when he's like you're touchy and then i'll like what else is there just certain reactions he has when he's kind of like interacting with like lando and kira is like and just kind of like not has a tantrum but he goes he goes through his like his emotions and he kind of wants to say something but then no that is Han Solo and then Han Solo just being like you know you know the way he talks his way with anybody yeah you know with the characters that he had in the beginning of the film and then Dryden Han Solo really is that kind of person that like 
like, I got it. There was enough for the, like, you know, he was enjoyable. And then even, like, when they question him, he's like, he, he, he has the confidence to be like, he is the character he is. And I still feel like that was Han Solo. So this, that's one that was like, I give this guy a shot. I give him a shot where he's like, if he'll come back in a Disney Plus series, I'll, I'll welcome, I'll welcome, I welcome it because he really did a good part in his job. And yes, the movie still has parts that were like, I think certain set like locations could have been more touched up. They're not as pretty in that way and the cinematography. But you know, once you kind of like have it to adjust your own way, you kind of admire it. Like it, it's interesting because it's like some of the other movies have better cinematography, but this one has a nice natural look of a cinematography. Like I still enjoy it. And it's one, if you really like natural lighting, that's where it's like, it's beautiful. It really is complimenting, complimenting that way. And then, yeah. And, you know, certain things of like, you know, wasn't necessary, I know. But at least they gave us the film and they tried their best to give the essence. At least for me, I thought it, they gave the essence to uh, Star Wars Presence. And I had a good time from seeing them a bit like establishing how we need to care for certain characters, you know. Keep definitely Kira, Kira and Han the, the relationship and how it intertwines again and then a little bit later they start chipping that you know they still care for one another so that feels like a, a ro romance that a romance is best suited for this universe come on and um seeing just yeah like how they eventually uh, go get Lando and then have him come with the mission and and uh Beckett being a good mentor to Han too like in a way where like it's not the usual route but it kind of this is a bit of both but I like him, and it, it helps that it's Woody Harrelson, but he is, he's a likable character in certain ways, in very certain ways. He could honestly be, like, the bad guy and the good guy. And then there's certain kind of things they still do, you know, they do a bit of the fan service. A little bit that I thought was a fan service, but I wasn't too sure. It's like, you know, the Han shooting first. I was like, clever. That was clever. I like those kinds of, like, just, yeah, the subtleties. The subtleties of that kind of, like pain like that kind of like respect so honestly like yes it, this is one that really had a lot it had a lot of the, the the soul the soul that is star wars and that was really respectable guys and if i could rank this if i wanted to like we'll see if i'll put like a, the editings that i do but this is like originally it could have been like a solid b it kind of is more of a b plus but because of how fun it is too, it's between an A and A minus. So it really depends on what I pick those. It's justifiable for all those. You know, take it as it is, guys. But yes, guys, let me know what you thought of Solo or Star Wars Story. Like, how do you kind of rank it? And like, do you, what's your appreciation for it? These are my thoughts and opinions, guys. Just, it really is a really entertaining Star Wars flick. And it just, it's a really enjoyable movie overall. So, all this in the comments below. And as always, Roland Empire. Laugh, smile, repeat.